Okay guys, let's start writing the code of this Telegram bot. To write this Telegram bot using Python, I need to have a module. The module is called Telebot. I'm going to use this Telebot module to connect to my Telegram bot. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. Uh, if I open it, I can go to the project file or project directory. Let's type uh click um, i'm gonna click on file and go for example to desktop and select this telebot folder you can select whatever folder or directory you need okay let's open the terminal good at first i need to create a virtual environment for my project so i type python 3-m vnv this is the code to create your visual uh, environment and i name it dot vnv okay the dot makes my folder my environment hidden so if i enter the yeah this is this is created here. So I have my virtual environment and in bin folder, I have this activate. So because I'm on Linux, I type source and I go to the dot V and and bin activate. Okay. So you see this V and between these two parentheses, it means that my virtual environment is activated so if i see this pip list the number of or the list of modules that i have this in this environment i can see just this pip and setup tools so i don't have any let's install telebot i go to this pyp.org and i search pi a telebot so this is the name of telebot module simply i can use pip install pi telegram bot api to install it so i copy this and get back to this part Control shift and v okay let's delete this extra words pip install pi telegram bot api inside my virtual environment if i hit enter button it's going to install it so pip list again yeah i have this pi telegram bot api and a bunch of necessary modules that i have that's enough okay let's clear the terminal and here i need to create two mm, not here yeah here config.py another one is main.py okay inside this config i'm gonna type api token and it needs to have that uh, HTTP key or HTTP API. So I go to Telegram and go to Podfather. And uh, here, if I go back to list of my bots, which I talked about in previous video, uh, I go to my bot and go to this part, API token. So I have my API token, I click on it and it's copied to clipboard. So I get back here and paste the API key. So this is the API key that I need to connect to my bot. I save it, that's it, enough. Let's go to main pi. So I type from config import API token uh, and let's import telebot okay that's all we need to connect to our bot so i create 
a variable called bot actually it's an object of my bot i type telebot dot telebot with capital t and inside here token is equal to api token that's it that's all now look at this line of code with this line of code i have an object referring to my bot in telegram and if i write bot dot pulling like this the bot constantly listens for any received text video i don't know comments whatever from the user to process and respond okay uh if i run the, this code let's run it you see my bot is running on my local machine if i get back here and go to the bot and send different commands type what uh, like hello not like this hello nothing happens why because the code receives these commands but there's nothing here to process it so we need to write the proper code to process commands text and received files and whatever the user is uh, sending to our bot okay let's start it i use a decorator bot dot message handler it's very important it handles any message and whatever function you write after it will be filtered so for example if i type here commands and inside here type start it means if you send start command to your bot or throw your bot uh, only this function what function def welcome message this function will be uh, the will be responsible for any start command you, you're sending so i type here bot dot send message to send the user a welcome message at first i need the chat id of the user so i need to type like this message dot chat dot id without this you you don't know where to or how to respond so you need this chat id and here you need a a welcome text like this but i need to define it here welcome underscore text and i use f string user welcome to the bot good let's define the name of user i need to type message dot from user dot first name that's it let's stop it using control c and run the bot again okay if i go here and send this start yeah user micro learn welcome to the bot perfect so any user that starts this bot uh, uh will get this welcome message as long as my bot is running so if you buy a server and you and run your bot on it you can constantly answer any uh, any messages with uh, starting with this uh, start and I need to do another thing I I want to reply to any messages that different different users send to my bot again I need another message handler and here I use this lambda function lambda message and true what is what does it mean it means for any received message 
accept this start, I'm gonna run this uh, this function. Let's call it uh, reply func. That's good. This function receives a message. Also, this welcome function receives a message. This message is whatever the user is sending to our bot and it has metadata it has lots of information definitely we're gonna talk about it and go depths go into details in other videos but not now uh, here I'm gonna type but dot reply reply to here I need just the message not any ID message is enough because I need to know what messages uh, I need to reply to. So, and this is the text I type. Your message is replied. Okay. Uh, okay, let's cancel it and run it again. If I go here. I send start, I get my answer. I type hello here. That's it. Your message is replied. So you can reply messages or send a message to the group using to the sorry to the bot using this reply to and this send message method. So to wrap it up, uh, in this session, uh, I talked about two different methods send message and reply to and also we talked about this message handler decorator which is a very powerful tool uh, using that you can filter out what command or what text or what kind of uh, file like video uh, i don't know voice or text or image you're gonna reply to or you're gonna process so you can write different message handlers and be careful because it's starting from here and if your message handlers your different message handlers overlap you're gonna be in big trouble because you're gonna write buggy code so make sure that uh, these uh, message handlers are separated and has nothing to do with each other Definitely, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to uh, give you different examples to know more about this. Now it's time for you to go and practice and try to connect to your bot and play with these bunch of codes. Also, Google it, use ChatGPT or whatever AI tool you have to learn it better. In next video, I'm going to go to details and talk more about different message handlers and different input parameters we can give to this part. Until next video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video with your friends. And if you have any question, don't forget to comment it out under this video.